I'm joined with Lewis, the founder and CEO of Omnity Network, to talk about Bitcoin Ruins. Lewis, how are you doing? Good, good. I'm doing very good. There's a lot of excitement around the Bitcoin Ruins these days, especially programmability. Why are people getting so excited about, about this particular meta protocol? Uh, the single reason is this turned out to be the, the way to do Bitcoin DeFi, a long dream, and, and, and a dream that hold, hold for a long time by Bitcoin builders, and uh, now Ruins format uh, essentially make it possible. Yeah, I mean, it's always been this theory of Ethereum and Solana mm. as the test nets of Bitcoin and everything <laughs> will return back yeah. to Bitcoin, right? And so Ruins is starting to kind of realize that vision. Yeah, so uh, the starting point is Ordinus. And but uh, so Ordinus is so great, but it's about NFT. We all, always know that NFT is let's say, not designed for trading, right? Mm. But fundable token is great in terms of trading, in terms of uh, whatever use case, utility coin, governance coin, meme coin. So suddenly all the things are possible on Bitcoin. Yeah, that's a, it's amazing to think of what's possible with runes. But there are a little bit of um, native runes have some drawbacks that, mm -hmm. that are challenging, especially compared with like an Ethereum ERC20 token mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. such. Can you kind of give us a taste of what that is? Uh, so I think as a token standard, uh, Runes is very, very successful and uh, because it only takes one month or so to let all the major wallets, all the, the tools, the, the portal and to, 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 to be compatible with Runes. So people will always measure the success with some total market value. And uh, I think it's, there is some specific reason that why Rune's uh, market value is not so, not so much, specifically because of the, the, the first Rune's is quite unspeculatable. Mm. And so people lose this investment sharing point mm. and uh, it, it, so we, we call it no dragon head of this market but uh, we always think about runes ordinals and all the others uh, from a builder's perspective so so, so from from our standpoint it, it's very success yeah, and I love, I mean, the product you guys have released, the Runes Exchange Environment, re, uh, solves a lot of the what, exactly the issues that you're seeing with Runes. So kind of give us a background of what, what RE is. Yeah, yeah, Runes Exchange Environment, RE, R-E, is a generic, uh, let's say, DeFi middleware to, to enable Bitcoin application to deal with Bitcoin asset directly. So all the transactions will be settled on Bitcoin layer one automatically and build it built on ICP chain fusion. And uh, the funny thing is we can name it by any way. So let's say uh, Bitcoin execution environment, whatever, but why we name it runes exchange environment is because we won't make the signal uh, very explicit that we we try to call on builders let's stick to the same standard right it's a base to make the application somehow composable so we can share liquidity so at least we we can work on the same asset class mm -hmm. right so if Bitcoin builder just scattering around, we, we build on, let's say, whatever. I will mention there, there are, I think, nearly 100 metaphorical out there. So if builder keep us scattering around, uh, it, it, it will not, let's say, bring enough so, so, so bring enough user adoption and each great application just cannot enhance with each other. So let's stick to runes. I know there are quite a lot of argument about can we make it, can we make it better? I believe runes is a 
good enough standard. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, RE, which built on ICP chain fusion, will bring uh, generic programmability based on uh, based on runes. And uh, from there, all kinds of DeFi can be built, can be imagined. And the beauty part is all the RE, uh, uh, all the application built on ICP Chain Fusion that leveraging RE, they are composable. They can share liquidity with each other. They share the same level of user experience and it will form the solid base to for a real Bitcoin DeFi to grow up. Yeah, I mean, it's phenomenal to think that a lot of the benefits that uh, that Ethereum has had over the years, mm -hmm. Ethereum DeFi, are now coming to runes and the, the composability. Um, you guys have solved um, like the lot issue with with runes. Mm -hmm. You've got you know, uh, you can have not necessarily finality, but you can have you can execute a trade really quickly and, and then and then and then chain up trades so that, that settle back to the Bitcoin mainnet. Yeah. yeah. Now, so you, do you imagine in terms of like product line building on RE that basically something that was built on Ethereum could really be built, that same product could be built on, on Bitcoin? Sure, sure. Uh, they are, they are low hanging fruits, right? Okay. They, they, these kind of, this type of types of DeFi has been proved to be valuable, to be uh, attractive to users. So let's grab this low hanging fruit first, yeah. and it, it can make uh, uh, even with, with that uh, we can have a, less, a bigger DeFi on Bitcoin than Ethereum than than Solana maybe yeah. <laughs> maybe combined, and uh, and from there uh, and once we achieve, achieve that, uh, Bitcoin DeFi will be the uh, let's say the test bed for new type of experiment. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then at, at this stage, we, we we will we can state that oh, Bitcoin DeFi is m mature enough, and uh, some new business keep emerging there. Yeah. But, uh, and I think we may take let's say relatively short period of time to reach this state because. All the business part, the, somehow the uh, production market fit part has been tried, has been proved. Mm. So we all witnessed the marvelous success of Odin Fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, somehow it's an idea borrowed from Solana ecosystem. It, it turned out to be significant success based on Bitcoin, and I think this experience is worth to share. Yeah. Well, Lewis, thank you so much for your leadership in the space, for bringing programmability to runes, and I look forward to seeing dozens and dozens and dozens of applications uh, building in the BTC Phi space, building yeah. on RE. Yeah. Yeah. Feel, feel the same way. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kyle.